quadrupedal locked leg lift progressions. If you have weak glutes and poor hip abduction strength, you're going to find quadrupedal leg lifts very helpful. Quadrupedal leg lifts are a fantastic movement for improving hip strength and flexibility. I like to use them when training movements like the middle splits. It's easy to cheat this movement, so pay attention to the setup and the execution. The primary goal of the movement is to keep the pelvis as level as possible. This is where using a yoga block against a wall or an upright surface can be helpful as it prevents lateral shifting of the hips and it gives us a certain level of feedback around the pelvis orientation. Start in a quadrupedal position with the shoulders stacked above the wrists and the hips above the knees. Place a yoga block between the upright surface and the hip of the supporting leg. Aim to keep the spine neutral, including the cervical spine. Keep your chin tucked and resist the urge to turn the head and look to the side. Progression number one is to perform the leg lift with a bent knee. Start by shifting the weight across to the supporting leg so you can lift the knee of the working leg off the floor before you abduct the hip and lift the leg out to the side. Keep the knee bent at 90 degrees and the hips level as you lift the leg as high as strength and flexibility will allow. Focus on contracting the glute of the working leg to achieve the leg lift. Actively hold the topmost position for the prescribed time. This can be anywhere between 5 to 30 seconds and we can perform one to multiple reps. The goal is to keep the pelvis level and be able to lift the leg to be as close to parallel to the floor as possible. Progression number two is performed with the straight leg. Contract the quads of the working leg to straighten the knee and place the foot in line with the hips. Start by shifting the weight to the supporting leg so you can lift the foot off the floor by abducting the hip. Keep the foot in line with the pelvis as you lift the leg as high as strength and flexibility will allow. Make sure to prioritize the form of the exercise over the height of the leg lift. Lifting the foot two to three centimeters off the floor and keeping the hips level is a much more effective repetition than lifting the leg higher and moving the hips out of alignment. Actively hold the topmost position for the prescribed time. Again, this can be anywhere from five to 30 seconds from one to multiple repetitions. Some common mistakes include lifting the leg too high and allowing the pelvis to rotate. In this variation, we're trying to be as strict as possible. Number two is engaging the obliques and moving the leg forward towards the shoulders. Make sure the knee stays in line with the hips. Number three is arching the back and not maintaining the neutral spine. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.